Welcome to another edition of the Effective Living Series. This is your springboard for success in 2022. And this year, the series is on the theme, Building Back Greater. We've been having many, many interactions. In the first week, we spoke about rebuilding personally. And then we spoke about rebuilding families, rebuilding professionally. This week, we're focusing on rebuilding business. Today, my focus is rebuilding wealth through financial planning. And my guest is a man who's no stranger at all. He's the, I call him the one million man. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Kofi Mante is the managing director of EDC Investments Limited. Paul, good to have you. Good to see you, Ben. Happy New Year to you. Many, many happy returns. What is the, <laughs> what is the Lord saying about this year? Uh, we, this year, we want to talk about rebuilding, or if you want, building wealth through financial planning. You know you are the one million man. Uh, yes. The, yeah, everybody yeah, going. Uh, operation one million, one million, one million. <laughs> One million. One million. <laughs> they should pay tight to you on the one million. One million. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you talking about? Rebuilding wealth through financial yes. planning. What, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah, so let me let me ask a few questions. So mm -hmm. if you are asleep, you will wake up. Okay. <laughs> if you are listening to us. Okay. Bernard, if you can get an average of 18% interest compounded quarterly, mm -hmm. do you know if you can do 10 CD a day, mm -hmm. which is equivalent of 300 CDs every month, within 23 years, you make 1.1 million? Please take your time and repeat it. 300 CDs every month mm -hmm. or 10 CD a day mm -hmm. within 23 years, 1.1 million. Okay. 1,000 a month within 16 years, you cross a million. Mm. 3,000 a month within 11 years, you cross a million. 6,000 a month within eight years, you cross a million. Wow. Uh, you, start, you brought 1 million up. Wow. And I'm saying anybody, look, I'll deal with 1 million as we go along. But you see, a rich man once said, if you took all the money in the world and divided it equally among everybody, mm -hmm. it would soon be back in the same pocket. It was before. Um, the, that, that big question, if you lost your job today, how mm. many months, how many mm. years can you survive without salary? Mm. It's, it's important we pay attention to finances and then financial planning. Mm. There are a number of reasons why a number of people will struggle. I mean, before we got on set, I was telling you, mm. I bet a teacher who called me last night, we, I spoke to them about four years or five years ago. Mm -hmm. Already he's crossed 600,000. Wow. And he's looking at making his first million uh, by before the end of 2023. Hey. A number of uh, people will struggle with their finances for a number of reasons. Number one, a lot of people do not believe that they can create wealth and become financially independent. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, some have just not taken the decision. Number three, mm -hmm. some do not know what to do to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, some believe that wealth and money is evil. Hey. Uh, <laughs> it's unnecessary. It's carnal. Mm. And maybe number five, uh, some also believe that, look, if God wants me to be rich, I'll be rich. Mm. Uh, so if I am poor, it, so is, God, it, to God. I, it is in the hands of God. Wow. See, traditionally, this has been the thinking. Get a good education, find a good job with some secure benefits. You work till you are 60, you get a good pension. This thinking belongs to the old school. It doesn't work in the year 2022. If we, 2022 and beyond, it doesn't work. In the year 2022 and beyond, the new way of thinking is you got to manage personal finances so that you are able to create wealth. But ultimately, the reason why you are creating wealth is that you want to become financially independent. And we keep talking about financial independence. What does financial independence mean? It simply means getting to that stage where you can sustain your desired lifestyle without salary. Mm. It, it's as simple as that. Mm. You get to that stage. So for example, if you need 4,000 a month for your desired lifestyle mm. and you can invest, let's say 400K and get 18% every month, that will give you 6,000 a month. So now your investment is returning 6K a month, but you need 4,000. You, your, your investment returns is about 50% more than what you need. At that point, we say you are financially independent. So that is the new rough thinking. Like the teacher I spoke to last night, he's making average interest of 8K a month. Mm. Income, 8K a month. But his salary is less than 4,000. Wow. So at this point, he can live the life he wants to work, even if he chooses not to work for salary again. Mm. But you see, to create wealth and become financially independent, there are two important things you need. You need a God factor, mm -hmm. very important. The God factor is responsible to attract the financial resources, to bring the opportunities your way. You can debate it if you want the to. The ideas. The ideas the strength, and all that. The wisdom. I mean, 
the, the networking, mm. uh, the opportunities. I mm. call it the God factor. Mm -hmm. But you see, it's not enough to have the God factor. Mm. You also need to have the appropriate information. Mm. Because you, see, you cannot put a gallon of water into this bottle of water. Mm. Because it does not have the capacity to carry a gallon of water. You cannot put a drum of water because of the issue of capacity. When it comes to finances, there are levels of capacities. And the appropriate information, the mm. strategies, mm. the keys are the very things that will help you. So you need a God factor, but you need appropriate information so that you are able to manage what you have, you are able to multiply what you have, and you are able to preserve it. Mm. Uh, uh, manage, multiply, multiply and then preserve. It's important to deal with the why, mm -hmm. and then we talk about the how. Mm -hmm. Why? The big why. Why is it important to create wealth and become financially independent? Because money is everybody's business. Mm. Money is money is major. Everybody must major money. Mm. Money is major. We thank God for prayer and fasting, but you can pray and fast and still die of hunger. Mm. It's not enough. Money is important. Who said money is not important? This life is not all about money, but money must be understood. Yeah. In fact, almost everything physical can be answered with money. Money will give you the ability to do more things. And more things here simply means more things. And, and it means more things, so. Oh, yes. Including more things. I tell you. Imagine more things. <laughs> Money will give you access to better healthcare facilities. Mm. Money will help you put your children in good schools. Mm. Money would even make marriage better. I tell you. Uh, somebody said, even romance without money is equal to annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wonderful. <laughs> For wonderful. those who believe in the Bible, Proverbs 22, 7, the Bible says, the rich rule over the poor, and mm. the borrower is a servant to the lender. Mm. The rich rule over the poor, mm. and the borrower is a servant to the lender. Proverbs 19, 7, mm. the poor are shunned by all their relatives. Oh. How much more do their friends avoid them? Do the poor pursue them with pleading? They are nowhere to be found. Mm. Let me add one more. Proverbs 10, 15, mm -hmm. the rich man's wealth is his fortified city mm. the distraction of the poor is their poverty i'll tell you terrible the distraction of the poor is their poverty there is a, a, another scripture i saw recently that really jumps at me let me let me uh, 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 touch on that and we can proceed genesis 47 19 47 19 um they are struggling in Egypt and they go to Joseph and look at what they say. Why should we perish before your eyes? Mm -hmm. We and our land as well. Mm. Buy us oh. and our land in exchange for food. Oh. Mm. Buy us and our land in exchange for food. Uh, when You see, there are four realms of living when it comes to finances. The survival stage, the comfort, the luxury, the extravagance. A lot of people find themselves in the uh, 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 survival stage. And that is where people say, buy us and our land in exchange for food. Mm. They don't really care about the future. Remember, the land is not supposed to be for one generation. Mm -hmm. The land is supposed to be for... Uh, for for one generation to farm on and leave the land for the next generation, but here you have you have people who are saying, "Buy us." Uh, it's on the next slide. Push it for us. Yes. Buy us and our land in exchange for food. Mm. That's terrible. So when people are, are sacrificing their future, we are not thinking about what will happen in the next ten years because we are hungry today. Wow. The the issue of finances must be taken serious. Mm. We can't take it lightly at all. Mm. We can't take it lightly. So you've confirmed to us that money is important. Yes. You've also told us that there are two key issues, the God factor and information. Yes. Having laid this foundation, what strategy or what are you going, what can we do? Yeah. So let me walk you through about five things we can do quickly. But before we do that, mm -hmm. let me say this because mm -hmm. it brings our conversation into perspective. Mm -hmm. See, from the standpoint of purpose mm -hmm. and our assignment in our lives, money does two important things, and it's important to state it. Mm -hmm. One, time redemption. Mm -hmm. Money helps us to redeem time. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, 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 so let me mention the two things, time redemption and number two. Money helps to... To, it, it's a mechanism of efficiency. Okay. If you need to go to Kumasi, you can walk to Kumasi, you'll get to Kumasi. You can also uh, board a public transport, you'll get to Kumasi. But you can also fly, you still get to Kumasi. The more money you have, 
the better you are able to redeem time and the more efficient you become. Mm. So it's important to put this in context. Wow. It's not just about building wealth and you have 15 cars and you live in a, a big house. No, from the standpoint of assignment, purpose, money helps us to redeem time and it's a mechanism for time efficiency. Fantastic. Now the big how, mm -hmm. how do we do it? Mm -hmm. Five keys I will share very quickly. Number one, it's important to compute your net worth. It's important to know where you find yourself today. Mm -hmm. This is an exercise I went through uh, wow. with my wife several years ago. Mm. Uh, and, and then we realized that if you put all our assets together compared to our liabilities, the liabilities were higher than the assets. Mm. Meanwhile, we're working in town very confidently. Mm. We had not sat down. And as we begin the year, I want to encourage uh, people who are benefiting from this program to sit down, put your assets together, put your liabilities together, mm. and, and find your smoothness level. Mm. It's only when you find your smoothness level that you can think into the future. This is where I find myself. Now, uh, this is where I want to get to the next 10 years, the next 15 years, the next two, 20 years. Then how do I get there? And that takes me to key number two. So number one is compute your net worth. Number two is plan your finances. You got to sit down and plan. Mm -hmm. You see, the law of first creation states that everything is created twice. First mentally and second physically. Without the first creation, you cannot have the second creation. Mm -hmm. Your financial future is going to be created twice. First mentally and second physically. Plan for anything that is important to you. As you go through the journey of life, that journey of life, whether you're a student, you just got married, uh, 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 you have children, mm. or you are closing into retirement. Every stage in the journey of life requires financial planning, even I, if you are on retirement. I like what you've done here. So student to working professional to married to new parent or single parent, depending, to establish family, empty nester, retired. Yeah. Most people go through this. Yes. And every stage requires financial planning. Wow. Every stage requires So everybody planning. watching or listening has to do a financial plan. It's important. Whether you're a student or whether you're retired. You need to do financial planning. Fantastic. You need to do financial planning. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important you sit down and then you plan into your future. Mm -hmm. And financial planning basically has to do with knowing your income sources, being clear with where you want to get to, mm -hmm. and then we draw in a plan how to get there. There are five important areas I will always recommend. One of them is retirement, which we'll deal with later. Mm -hmm. But the second area of planning is housing. Mm -hmm. Housing. And, and, and it's so easy. Okay, so we have uh, this dream house. A number of young people attempt to build their first house. And they attempt a house like this one. It's called a dream house. You start this, you will never finish. <laughs> By the time, you, the complication with attempting a house like this is that you keep paying rent. Mm. And you keep sinking money into this house. So you look for your 30K or 20K, you give it to former. You go to the site, you won't see what has been done. <laughs> so former, you didn't come to us, so oh, it's the pillar, your money is in the pillar there. It, you start this, you will never finish. By the time yeah. you are done with this, all your children are gone. Charlie. Because the average worker will use between 10 and about 25 years to build this. Mm. So instead of this huge house, we say build a simple three-bedroom house. Bernard. If you have maximum 20K, mm -hmm. you'll buy enough blocks that will build your three-bedroom house. The 20K can go into blocks? Yes. Enough for the three-bedroom house? For the three-bedroom house. Now, you struggle a bit at your foundation and then your roofing. But once you put a roof on the house, Charlie, whether it is plastered or not, it's your house. You're moving. We, we, we do counseling and we add financial planning as part of the counseling uh, process. All couple who have come through counseling with us, mm -hmm. nobody has been married for five years and is still living in a rented house. All of them have managed to move. Yes. In five because years. it's in their mind. Wow. It's very possible. It's in their mind. And when it comes to housing, the other idea you can consider is the idea of mortgage. Mm. Mm. Mortgage simply means taking a loan to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Now, the big difference between paying rent and using a mortgage is anytime you pay rent, that money is gone for good. It will never come back again. Mm. But anytime you service your mortgage, you are owning that property. So you are partially paying until you eventually pay off exactly. and the house is yours. Yeah. And if you are taking a mortgage, my advice is don't take mortgage to buy a big house. 
smaller mm. house that could be expanded. Mm. Whether the mortgage is for 15 years or 20 years, target seven years to pay off. Mm -hmm. And I've taught people this and they have done that. Once you take a mortgage, let everything come to a standstill, focus on the repayment, seven years you can clear it. Again, when it comes to the mortgage, if you are earning in cities, don't go and take a dollar mortgage mm -hmm. because it can create issues for you. Mm -hmm. Take a mortgage in the currency, currency that you are earning. You are earning. And, and maybe the for final stability. Th for stability. Maybe the final thing I want to say on the house is location. Mm. Location matters. Mm. It is cheaper to live on a quarter plot closer to town <laughs> than to live on, on an acre of land far away. Mm. Charlie, you wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Uh, Charlie. And you spend so much in traffic. There are people who spend four hours of their day in traffic every day. It's terrible. It's terrible. So it, it's cheaper to get close to town. Mm. The third area of planning is your children's education. Mm -hmm. Plan to give them quality education. Mm -hmm. Fourth area of planning is what I call giving back. Mm -hmm. Charity. Blessing mm -hmm. others. Putting a smile on the faces of others. Mm -hmm. It's very important. You can do it directly or you can look for an, uh, an organization that has the platform, like City, and you make your small donation in there. Mm -hmm. What you are doing is you are putting a, a, a smile on the face of somebody. And the fifth area of planning is what I call the high life. Mm. The high life simply means you make money and chop some. Chop small. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, give yourself a good treat. It's very important. You know, mm. because there... When you watch, eh, especially mm. the Christian marriages, when mm. you watch them carefully, mm. their whole marital life is like a triangle. <laughs> it's church, work, home, church, work, work nothing. Uh, uh, no, no, retirement. No, no holiday. When they retire, it becomes a straight line. It's church, home, church, church home. <laughs> Take a break. Mm. Once in a while, eat in a good restaurant. Mm. You know, when they bring you the bill, you went with your wife, they bring you the bill, 400. <laughs> Poverty will come and stand behind you and start talking. <laughs> then look at this small food they gave to you that you are paying 400. This money you could have fed your family. You talk to poverty. Say, get, get behind me, poverty. <laughs> oh, man, let me enjoy small. Let me, uh, what is this? Imagine that we ask you every day. You, every day you are planning. They be our swine. Once in a while you take a break. When you have blood pressure, crash. once in a while you take mm -hmm. a break. And then you, you, you also. Relax a bit. So the high life. So just yeah. to recap, uh, five areas of planning, retirement, which we'll talk about in a different program, yeah. housing, which you've spoken about, children's education, charity, and then the high life. Yeah. Possibly in that order as well. Yeah. So retirement first, yeah. housing next, children's education, charity, and then the high life. High life, yeah. So, and all this under financial planning. Planning, yes. Great. Yes, yes. That's the second uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. So let's talk about key number three. Mm -hmm. But before we even touch on key number three, mm -hmm. when it comes to this planning, this is not mm -hmm. the first time people have fed us. Three major challenges, a number of people struggle with three major challenges. One, mm -hmm. procrastination. Mm. Procrastination. Let me wait till my salary increase. Let me wait till this. Let me wait till that. Number two, excuses. Mm. You can always find an excuse why you cannot do it. And number three is blame. Mm. We need to deal with these three. Mm. Self-imposed limitations. Procrastination, Key, excuses, and blame. Exactly. All right. Key number three is pay yourself and invest all wind force. Right. We work hard, we make money only to redistribute the money. So we work mm. hard, whatever money we make, we distribute. Landlord, Ghana Water, ECG, this, that, that, Akituyano, hey, Asa, Asa, then you will encourage yourself. When is the next payday? Because next payday will come. And the next payday will come. Uh, your people are laughing in the studio. <laughs> it will come. And when, when it comes, you go through the they are, process they are waiting, again. They are waiting for the January one. <laughs> they are hot. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, one of the dangers in life is mm. when you know you'll be paid at the end of the month. Because when you are spending, you spend knowing very well that in the worst case, and your current is a payday, payday will come and you go through the process again. Mm. And people will tell you that, Paul, you don't understand. The salary is not enough. Mm. Yes, I, I know. But you see, there is a law called the Parkinson law. The Parkinson law mm. explains why most people will retire poor. Mm. The Parkinson law states that no matter how much people earn, they will always adjust their lifestyle to match their salary. Okay. So as salary is increasing, people are adjusting their lifestyle. And I can tell you, I, I do financial planning. Mm. I meet so many people. I've met people who earn 40000 a month. Hey, and they who, say it's still enough. They say it's not enough. Hey. 
as the salary is increasing, people are adjusting lifestyle. They will change their cars. You know where people start? They do the trust key. As salary is increasing, they go to the Uber and the taxi. You know, uh, they get to a level, they will buy some. Their own small car. Uh, you know, <laughs> even the car, it's a matter of time. Yes. They will keep, levels will keep changing. Levels don't change. When the, the young men, they, they are listening to me and the young <laughs> ladies, when they start, they go to the bend down boutique. They have their special slogan, one mm. in the low, mm -hmm. one shine high. Mm -hmm. As salary is increasing, levels will keep changing. Level don't change. And now they go to the boutiques. Mm. You know, so you got to pay yourself. Mm. And I recommend the 10, 20, 70 principle. Mm -hmm. If you believe in tithing, pay your tithe of 10%. If you don't, you can still give 10% to society. But 20% minimum of whatever you earn must go into investment. 20% minimum. Anybody listening to us or watching us who can do 20% every month, I give you between 10 and 15 years, you will be financially independent. 20% minimum goes into investment. 20% minimum. If you can do more, great. A guy came to me, he's doing 50% every month. Wow. It's in the mind. It doesn't matter how low you think your salary is. Somebody earns less than your salary. Mm. And that person is not dead. Mm. So don't tell me that the salary is not enough. It's in the mind. They can't say only the wise bite bones out of eggs. Mm. Money is like an egg. You can consume it all today or you can defer consumption. You hatch it into a chicken and you can bite bones out of your eggs. Wow. You can bite bones out of your eggs. Mm. You see, within every income, within every income, there is food and seed. Mm. Just like in most fruit, mm -hmm. you will find seed and food. Mm. The food is for consumption and the seed is for sowing, it's for investment. Mm. The pathetic story for a number of people is that we consume both the food Sorry. and the seed in our they, income. They are, they are drinking watermelon and eating the seed. <laughs> or they are blending the whole seed and drinking everything. That's what they are doing. Eh? You, 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 and the way to find the money is in 2022 and beyond, you've got to watch your spending habit. Awesome. You see, your salary must dictate what you eat, not your appetite. Mm. There is a salary level you can do all the nice hotels in the morning. There is a salary level you also do cocoa with kose, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. the, you, you can even do gobe. gobe. That, that one too, you'll be it's fine. Foundation. <laughs> with enough gary, with yeah. the, two sachets of water, you also be fine. Mm. The point is, you are not in competition with anybody. If you want to rebuild world, you want to you become financially independent, please declare personal independence that you are not in competition with anybody. It's your life. Avoid the impulse buying, the impression mentality. Put your children in school so you can afford. Stop throwing away the leftover food. Go to the market with a shopping list. Go to the mall with a shopping list. Get the whole family involved. One of the things we've done over the years, anytime we need to go to the mall with the children, we agree on a budget at home. But before we get to the mall, everybody knows their limit. So they pick the item, they look at the price themselves. You know. You, you don't need to talk. Mm. In the same mm. mall, you see other children crying. I want a bike. They, they want to take the entire mall home. <laughs> <laughs> and they are, their parents are struggling there. Sorry? And if you are not careful, a stranger will advise you in the mall. That, oh, and Colladi is where you are. It's nothing. Buy it. Buy it for them. <laughs> they, they don't know your pocket. <laughs> but they are advising you. Yeah, for that's what they do. Yeah. Key number four mm. is you got to create your own money machine. Create your own money machine. Yeah. Create okay. your own money machine. There is a point when a man works for money. Mm -hmm. But there must be a point when money must work for a man. Let me talk about two types of automatic money machines. Okay, if you use your time, your energy to exchange money, you are running a manual money machine. But I want to focus on two types of automatic money machines. Number one is what I call paper assets. Mm -hmm. Paper assets. And here I'm talking about simple things like treasury bills, treasury bonds, fixed deposit, mutual funds, unit trust, among others. These are paper assets. I love paper assets. Bernard, you know why? Mm -hmm. They are quiet. Mm. You put your money there, you can have your 100K, nobody knows. You can have your 1 million, nobody knows. It's quiet. You, you just be it's chopping. underground. Underground. Quietly, you'll be chopping your interest much more. <laughs> nobody knows how you are making money by yeah. chopping your interest. Mm. So I love paper assets. That's so quiet. paper assets are but it's one area we, we could look at. But when it comes to paper asset, it's important to put it in context mm -hmm. that there is a relationship between risk and returns. Mm -hmm. When the returns is high, the risk could 
probably be also high. So pay attention. Don't just follow high returns. Mm. The second area of paper, I said, the second area of uh, money, machine. money machine I want to talk about is properties Property. or real estate. Mm. But I think that it can be overhyped. When it talks, we, we, we comes to properties or real estate and you are looking at rental income, it's about location, mm. location, location. Mm -hmm. You don't get the location right, it's a complete waste of money. Mm -hmm. A friend spends $80,000 on a house at the wrong place. Mm. He's getting rental income of 500 cities a month, less than $100. And that is called gross rental income. It's not net. Mm. If you take out the net, the money will finish. It go, it go finish. Mm. So, yeah. The final key I want us to touch on mm -hmm. is uh, Operation 1 Million. Operation which is my 1 favorite. Million. Operation 1 Million, which Good. is my favorite. Mm. Operation 1 Million. Everybody watching our show can make at least a million series in your lifetime. Wow. Um, if project for us Operation 1 Million table, if you can do 150 series every month, mm -hmm. within 27 years, you cross a million, 1.1 million. Mm -hmm. 300 a month. Within 23 years, you cross a million. 600 a month. Within 19 years, you cross a million. 1,005 a month. Within 14 years, you cross a million. 3,000, 11 years. 6,000, 8 years. 12,000, 5 years. Everybody will find their level somewhere. You build up little by little. Everybody who wow. is listening to us can make at least a million CDs in your lifetime. Does this not depend on the interest rate? Or you have... I am using an average of 18%. Wow. 18%. And when you look at even government of Ghana, risk free treasury bonds over the last maybe six years, five years, 18% is conservative. So just go through again. If you do 150 a month, 27 years time, you make a million. A million, yes. If you do 300 a month, 23 years, you do a million. So the yes. more you make, you, 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 the you, shorter you save. The number so of years. So if you go to 1,000 cities, at the prevailing interest rate, it takes you 16 years. Exactly. 3,000 cities, 11 years. Yes. 6,000 cities, 8 years. Yeah. 12,000 cities, 5 years. Yes. So you build it up wow. little by little. But you see, this, this <coughs> has a challenge. What is the challenge? We are holding the contributions constant. Mm -hmm. If we're escalating, you start with the 150 or 300. And you move up. And you move up. You, sh you shorten the number of years. Mm. So everybody can make at least a million Ghana. And we are encouraging everybody. You haven't launched Operation 1 million. You got to launch it this year. You need help. You come to us. We'll give you a financial planner. And we would help you monitor your progress towards making your first million. And Bernard, for mm. those who may need help, mm -hmm. look. What we are doing, it's not just working for a bank and making money. It's about changing lives. It, it, it's about purpose. So those who may need help, we do financial planning for free. Or you need support on Operation 1 Million, a customized plan. You call us, we'll get a financial planner to help you. You can simply drop a WhatsApp message and say, I, I want to launch Operation 1 Million. Or I need a financial planner to help me. We'll get somebody to give you a call. Wow. Well, thank you, Paul Kofi Mante. He's the Managing Director of EDC Investments Limited. That's all we have time for for today's edition. We've been talking about financial planning as part of our fourth week of the Effective Living Series. We'll see you next time with another edition. Bye-bye.